Now, it's the ultimate thrill. Soaring, crashing through corkscrews. We'll show you how they make the rides that make you scream. Asked the same question we did. Is to come up with new ways to scare the living daylights out of us. Here's how he does it. He does it by designing and building roller coasters. Not just the up and down roller coasters you might remember, no. In today's state of the art, these things are called free form roller coasters. That means when you're riding, you don't know where you're going next. Up, down, even upside down. How do they do that? In this office, it all begins with a 15 cent piece of wire. As I work on rides, I sometimes work out new new ways to do things with a piece of wire because I, I can get a 3D image of what I'm trying to do and get some kind of an idea of whether when the train goes through this thing, whether it'll stay on the track or not. With a little classical music in the background, and from the quiet confines of his Salt Lake City office, Ron Toomer has drawn up over a hundred fiendish rides. You'd never know it from the outside, except maybe you'd wonder about the roller coaster they keep out back. If I want to do something like this, I can tell right away that I'm going to have to have a, a tighter radius right here. <laughs> if the thing's going to be upside down going through here, so we'll hold the people up in their seats. <laughs> Give these things to the engineers and they grumble at me sometimes because they don't know how they're going to make it work, but so far they've always figured out a way somehow. Everybody would like to leave behind a masterpiece or two. In the roller coaster world, Ron Toomer has already designed several with names like Viper, Cobra, and even the Loch Ness Monster. This is called the Draken Fire. For this, they need computers. Thanks to the computers and the freedoms that that has given us, we've been able to define points in space and bend the track to that. Uh, the result being that uh, with this ride, you have no idea what comes next. Now they can simulate the freeform trip so well, it's almost as good as taking the ride itself. And a lot better on your stomach. Part of the CAD program will tell us going down a hill, coming into a curve, coming out of a curve, what kind of speeds we're running, what kind of g-forces we're going to pick up. And you can basically ride the ride looking at my computer screen without really doing it. But when they really do it at 150 feet up, the paying customers reach the top of a curve from which they hurtle downward, experiencing the effect of zero gravity, weightlessness. <laughs> But these freeform designs that begin with a 15 cent piece of wire physically have to be transformed into 170 ton, $8 million serpents. How do they do that? They make it out of steel and concrete and a lot of new synthetic material capable of withstanding the intense heat generated by a ride that sometimes reaches speeds of over 60 miles an hour. In this case, Dragonfire is built for the client right at Bush Gardens, an amusement park in Williamsburg, Virginia. Once up, they test it for a month, first with dummies, then with human volunteers. They like to feel that it's dangerous, yet they see the thing come back every time and all the people okay, and they know it's safe, and it's that kind of thing. I think, I think the human being needs to be frightened at times. Ron Toomer has successfully frightened millions of thrill seekers minus one. I, I have a really a bad motion sickness problem to begin with. I, I can't go on anything that goes around and around, any of that kind of stuff, or else I'd get sick. Because I just don't. <laughs> Not over yet. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>